Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Leo's new moon energy reading for this upcoming new moon. Now in this message, we're going to look at the energy surrounding you through this new moon. We're going to look at what's challenging you through this new moon and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, I will be doing an extended version to these messages. So if that is something that you're interested in, if the message resonates with you and you would like to see more, the link will be below in the description box. So let's dive in here, Leo, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Most important message here for Leo Spirit, what do my Leo friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. The world, the tower, the seven of wands. Definitely feel like there's something here that's coming to an end, a chapter that's closing out here with a particular person in your life, Leo. And I want to say, for most of you, the first thing that comes to my mind is a particular person that you and this just can't get on the same page. It's like you and this person can't see eye to eye. For some of you, this is going to be a relationship. For others of you, this is going to have to do with business, like business partnership or um, your boss, career relationship, something along those lines. I do feel here, Leo, it's like, do I stay and endure this or do I find something that's better suited? So let's go through the energy, the energy surrounding you through this new moon. The two of wands, two of swords, two of cups, two, two, two is significant in this reading. So if you're, if that's something that's resonating for you, look up the meaning of triple twos. This is like planning, planning stage being strategic okay it's like do i stay and endure or do i start something new do i move towards a new beginning what i will say to that leo that's why it's important to understand where you're headed okay so that bigger picture vision is very important when you get to this stage in your planning okay and why is that you want to know where you're headed so that way you know if this next step is in alignment with that bigger picture vision or not. Now, how do we get a bigger picture vision? Well, we sit down and we think about and analyze like where we want to be in five years. Where do we see ourselves? In our mind's eye, if we could play the tape out that far down the line, where do we see ourselves in five years, ten years down the line? And then you're able to take it one step further when these new opportunities are presented to you because you can see if this new opportunity is in alignment with your bigger picture vision or not. And I feel here, Leo, it is like a perfect match. Now, the challenge is the lack of a plan. You don't have a plan. You don't know where you want to be in five years and 10 years. You've just been going down this path every day, living life day by day, night by night, not really knowing where this is headed, not where, really knowing where you're going, not really knowing what you truly want out of your life. And you can do this for career, but you can also do this for relationships. So, what type of person do you see yourself with long term? I definitely feel like right now you're 
fulfilling this urge to take action in regards to your plan, to your bigger picture vision. So take some time, and it doesn't have to be a lot of time, but take some time and write it out. That's what a vision board is helpful for. A vision board is helpful because it helps you to put pictures to paper and to see visually what you want to come to fruition. Where you're headed, you're headed to a beautiful place, Leo. I feel like there's a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance in your future. You just have to get clear on what that is. So that way you can see what you need to step away from in your life and what you need to take action towards. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful or if it's resonating, the link for the extended is below, but you can also comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. Give it a thumbs up. Those are all ways that you can support the channel without actually purchasing something. So Leo, two of pentacles, ace of pentacles, seven of pentacles, the fool, new things are coming in new beginnings, new experiences. So being open to these new experiences is going to be important. If you were playing poker, you would have won. Four of a kind. Okay. What I will say here, Leo, you have to get clear on what you want your life to look like. What do you want the outcome to be? That way you can see when these new opportunities are presented to you, if this person or this job opportunity is in alignment with your bigger picture vision or not. The challenge that you're facing at this time, Leo, is just a lack of having a plan. Maybe make it fun. Do a vision board. Get a whole bunch of old magazines. Cut them out. The pictures of the cars and the houses and the places that you want to visit and travel and live. And put your picture on a board and, and so you can visualize what it is you want your life to look like. Same thing with a partner, guys. Get clear on what you want your life to look like. So your soul truth message coming out for your reading, Leo, is what am I most afraid of losing? As we grow, change, and transform our lives, it requires us to let go of something that was to make room for what will be. If you were to take the leap today, would you feel scared of losing love, safety, or belonging? What if it was a big fat lie? What if it was impossible to lose? Any of those things because you have the power to give everything you need to yourself. Today's soul action, name that fear and look at the worst case scenario. Find a solution. Take your power back by being certain of who you are and where you are going. Today's mantra, I move forward knowing I am powerful beyond measure. I am loved, I am safe, and I belong. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Leo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.